ambition is, is really quite about us giving something to other people. We only feel like we've done it when you can see everyone around you just having the best time of their lives. That's when you know you've done it. Yeah, yeah. That everyone's working extremely hard. We're all just a team, one big team, one big happy family. There's Daddy Payne, who's Tom Payne, who's um, one of the directors of the company. There's our lovely colleague Penny, she's definitely mummy. Then I think Dave is probably like a naughty uncle. <laughs> That's the best way to describe him. That the rest of us are kind of like um, children at a tea party. So pretty crazy family, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Don't invite us around for dinner. <laughs> Everyone's just so lovely and do you know what? They all have so much grace under pressure, like they're just they just deal with things, they've always got a smile on their face, that's very inspiring. <laughs> We're on team power. Team Burr. We're the cable guys. We're team power, it's more of a lifestyle. State of mind. State of mind, I think, um, I think I'm probably the bad cop. I, uh, <laughs> Tom's, Tom plays the nice cop, um, the good cop, and I play the bad cop. I started working at this, so I didn't have to get a real job, basically. Hey, oh, hi there. Just checking the tan. Checking. Bronzing. Okay, you have suntan lotion on. <laughs> Sandwich detail. Get your sandwiches here. Look how good that is. <laughs> Challenge is always the same. It's doing loads of hours, producing a lot of work in very little time. That's what we're good at. That's what we get the call for. We spend weeks, weeks of hard thinking, hard graft, like getting your hands dirty to achieve these things so that someone can kind of walk past and go, oh, cool. That one little moment of like, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's enough for me. We're the Dance Off crew, and we're building a giant robot. Cheers, Dad. Loads of great acts over the weekend, and obviously the crowd providing a lot of their own entertainment with the Dance Off side yeah. of things. We've broken quite a few rings in the past. But... We usually start promo about November, and that's just like setting everything up, like all the press adverts and everything. And then beginning of the year, that's when we get the street team involved, and like we start doing a bit more marketing stunts, getting out on the streets. The boys' motto is make, <laughs> making friends and losing money. Um, <laughs> but we're trying to improve on that, but um, you know, it's something that we all genuinely want to really feel for and want to be involved in, and it kind of motivates us and drives us forward and it's just it's really nice to be here and working with everybody. There is a lot of love here. I mean there's love written everywhere so how can you not feel it? Get in there, we've got a wedding. Come on girls, get in there. You're shaking like a leaf. It is real. How dare you? Who's up for unholy matrimony? Who's up for sexual tedious? Damn straight. Welcome to the church. Oh, this is definitely the best job I've ever had, looking after an inflatable church with a load of complete nutcase pieces. Come here, young boy. Oh, my God, look at that! Oh, they'll come round. I think it's an awesome festival, and I love the new site. It's brilliant. What an awesome team they are. There's equally, if not more, as much love been pumped into it this time round as there was before. I'm really into this whole Love Saves Tomorrow thing they've got going on, this whole eco reuse, not refuse. I can tell the difference in the park already, it's looking really beautiful, no litter everywhere. Reducing single-use plastics is a big thing on our sort of environmental policy agenda for the next few years of the running of the show. I think there's a lot more to it other than the lineup. Obviously the production, especially this year, was massive. It's Sean Barber, it's his business. He came to me and was like, I want to do a stage that's in Blade Runner and like Japanese futuristic architecture. 
you initially wanted to call it Temple of Love, but um, we were like, oh, Temple of Love, like, okay, it sounds cool, but like, it's a bit nice. It's like, we don't, we don't want to be nice, we want to be like a bit dirty, and on the rough side of things, it's like Temple of Lust, like, yeah, sound, with a, with a naughty corner of Love Say Today. Get up, you trap! Generally, I'm, I, I'm sort of working, but I do get to get up with my friends and see what everyone's up to, and uh, <laughs> laugh at all the bizarre things that are happening around site, which is brilliant. Really enjoy seeing everybody out there having a really good party. <laughs> Bristol crowd is definitely up there with the best in terms of vibe and excitement. With Bristol, I can find I can always play the kind of set that I want to play. For me, as, as a DJ, it makes like my job really fun. Everyone's always up for it, and it's always a really friendly crowd as well. And there's so much good music from Bristol, though. There's such a good scene out here. We're one of the biggest independently owned festivals yeah. in the country now. That's ridiculous. That's amazing. What I'd like to see for, from the future, I guess, is more people coming, not just from England, but maybe kind of like travelling over from Europe or other places like that. The love element of Love Saves the Day is, is really profound. It's the union of lots of people who have this shared interest in, and desire to express love and for people to engage with the idea of love as a concept. Love Saves the Day team, you rock, you worked really hard, we've enjoyed every minute of it, see you next year. Thank you very much!